Welcome to Kingdom Hearts 3 Theory, where I debate if a certain world suggested by you viewers will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. This time we got Arendelle from Frozen. Now, this will have spoilers. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. Because I waited until the DVD came out, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not missing much. But then I saw it, and then I watched it over and over and over. And I've sung to the audio track at least 10 times through. It's really good. You gotta see it. So, Arendelle would have a lot of land for Sora to visit. Think of like a similar landscape to the Land of Dragons where Mulan was spacey with tons of environment. I don't think we'll actually see much of the castle itself aside from the ballroom. Almost like a BBS Cinderella treatment where we just see the main room and that's kind of it. Not only would there be a ton of paths to travel to Elsa's Ice Castle, there could also be enemies popping out of the snow kind of like they did in Mulan as well. Maybe even causing a cutscene where an ambush is in the middle of the journey and like an avalanche starts happening and you have to like run through stuff, kind of like a mini game or something like that. As far as the allies go, let's make this easy and name roll call for all the main characters. We got Anna, Elsa, Hans, Kristoff, and Olaf. I don't think we'll count Oaken as a main character. However, it would be pretty cool to see Oaken versus Pete just duel it out. So as far as Anna goes, she would be the main character of the world, narrating it. But what would she fight with? I mean, would it be like, oh, okay, let me go make a snowball and throw it? I mean, it would be cute to watch, and I'd just probably keep her in my party the entire time. But she just doesn't fit the Kingdom Hearts type mode. Elsa we'll come back to later, and Hans we'll come back to later. Kristoff is clearly one who has like the bulk and the size of a fighter of a Kingdom Hearts game, but all he really uses is normal hiking tools. I mean, I guess he could probably use like a mallet or something, you know, that you use to break the ice. Olaf could throw his body and just hug people to death but I don't know what else he would do but I love Olaf and maybe he'll appear as like a summon or something all right so basically I got two storylines in mind scenario a is where we enter before the coronation of Elsa it plays out exactly like it does in the movie once we're in the ballroom she just goes crazy and then Anna is like will anybody else help me save her and we'll go with her so that's how it would play out, it would play out exactly like the movie. But then there's also storyline B, because Kingdom Hearts storyline doesn't always end up the way the movie will exactly. So in storyline B, I have where we enter after Anna has already taken off. We meet up with Hans to see him giving out blankets to the cold. And his horse returns and fears the worst, so he convinces us that the Snow Queen, Elsa, is trying to destroy Arendelle. Thus, we take off on a heroic mission to stop the evil Snow Queen, and Hans would fight alongside our big three, such as Pete did in Timeless River. So, not where you necessarily get to control him, but where he kind of just comes alongside and fights Oaken Spa in Thingy, whatever it's called. I just, I love his accent though, it's funny. And we just see if Princess Anna was there, and he said yes, Princess Anna was there, and he point the direction. And after going hiking in the wilderness, we'd probably go ahead and find Elsa's castle, and then we'd have to fight Marshmallow, who's trying to protect her, and we'd probably just like push him off the bridge or something. I mean, he's snow, he'll just form back to life anyway. And then we'd go inside the castle, and either we fight Elsa, or we don't fight her at all because Elsa's really not the villain, quote unquote. Hans would arrest her and then he says he'll take her back to Arendelle and they'll resolve this winter issue. And then I think after that we jet off. And on our second visit, the blizzard has gotten worse, so instead of landing in the city itself, we'd probably crash land in the wilderness, and we'd run into Kristoff, who was with Anna, explaining how she needs a true act of love to heal her. So this will be like right after they meet Kristoff's family. He explains how she's engaged to Hans, and how he may help her. So then Kristoff would join the party as a member who can be customized, your normal ally, as we head back to Arendelle. And we'd likely face off against a swarm of enemies at one point or multiple groups just so we get to play with Kristoff more. But eventually it'll lead us to our main boss battle, Hans. And just like the movie, it'll play out normally where Anna goes to the frozen heart mode while protecting Elsa. Except this time Hans' sword won't break. So immediately after seeing Anna turn into frozen heart mode, we start a boss battle with Hans. The only thing 
against this theory is how strong can Hans be? He'd have to get some serious help from the main villain of Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, think of like Clayton in Kingdom Hearts 1. He needed help, otherwise he really would have not been a good boss battle, and instead he ended up being one of the hardest boss battles. Now as far as the odds go of this happening, I'd say around 10%, and you might say, hey, why is the number so low? Because this is one of the most successful Disney movies of all time. And I have to say, because Kingdom Hearts 3 has been in production for a while now, Unless you told them months in advance, hey, Frozen is going to be a smash hit. I highly doubt they'd be like, okay, let's go put Frozen in there. They could possibly put in future ones. I do think it would eventually be in a Kingdom Hearts game. I just don't think it'll be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Alright, well comment below and let me know what Kingdom Hearts 3 world theory you want to hear next. Click on my logo to subscribe to get the latest updates on when my Kingdom Hearts videos come out.